Let's jump in and begin working with our character. I'll close up the Advanced tab for the moment. One thing we'll want to do is not actually draw on top of this because then we'll obscure the drawing. So I'm going to double click on the character development image right here, that image layer, and change the opacity to something more like 50% and choose OK. This is lighter and now I can work on layers underneath it and still see how things are supposed to register and look. So that'll be perfect. On layer one here, I'm going to click and rename this main body. We will be rigging this and we're going to do some specialty rigging and boning that requires nested folders and things like that. But for these initial shapes, I'm simply going to create separate vector layers for all this. And then we can start putting it together into a more complex package that is very animatable. So let's get started with the body now. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Let's look at these shapes we want to work with. I have this large egg-shaped body. But I have an area where I want to be able to have the body kind of disappear into the tail and have the tail come out. Because I want the tail to animate on its own layer and have a little wiggle with the bones, it needs to be on its own layer. So that's going to be a layer that resides behind this. I'm going to have to hide an edge here, but I need to have a complete edge going all the way through so I can fill it. Items like the mask, the eyes, the beak, the coxcomb all sit on top of this body layer. So this is going to be my primary layer. I will come over and develop a single look right here. And unlike some of the other movies where I talked about developing styles before we start working with shapes and then repurposing them, once I get this main body done, I'll create a style from it, and then we can apply it to the other features or white areas of the chicken itself. Why would I want to do this since I'm the master of the domain? Well, the art director on a case like this might say, you know what, danger chicken is going to be white on this one, but then partway through say, let's try it with a red danger chicken and having a style to be able to quickly change that across the entire animation sequences or anything that we're using, really smart thing to do. Okay, we'll get going. I have the add point tool. I will simply click and drag. And we can come back in and fine tune this in a little bit. And by fine tune, I mean add points. Since we're going to be deforming the body a little bit with the skeleton, we want to make sure we have enough points to give it room to flex. Now right here at the neck juncture, I'm going to drag to right there. I'm going to put two points really close to one another. This allows the neck to have a sharper corner, but still be very flexible. Then coming up the neck, I'm going to go ahead and click and put in, oh, at least two. Drag this down. And while we're going through this, since I've already covered the tool usage in some other movies, I'm not going to spend a lot of time discussing how to use these tools. And we'll orbit around the top of the head here. And then bring this down. And imitate or match the points on the other side so we can get a more uniform bend. We can go ahead and come in and create some custom changes. So if it's not flexing the way we like, we can go ahead and address that. We have our main chicken body right now. I like the white. I like the dark outline. We're going to do a little bit more with the thick and thin item right here. Let me switch to C first, and I want to get the shape right before I really start messing with the look. I am clicking and dragging right. That's about where I want it to be. I'll be using keyboard shortcuts for all this stuff just to save a little bit of time. And it looks like over here, I want to actually add another point or two. Let me leave that open right here so we've got an easy hide right there. Okay, if I'm going to work with this, let me pull it out. I'm going to tighten this up a little bit so it's not quite so smooth. Likewise there. On the neck itself, I'll tighten these curves. And that's a good basic shape. Let's go ahead and hide one of the edges right here. That's done. And now I'm going to work with the thick and thin just a little bit. Keyboard shortcut W for that. Typically a nice thing to do, at least for this style of animation, is that the lines that appear towards the bottom of the character be a little bit fuller. It just gives a sense of weight, a little bit of light, those type of things. Right on the neck, I'll go ahead and make that just a little bit thicker. But here at the end, where I want it to fade into the tail, I'm going to go ahead and terminate that into just a fine, fine point. I might pull this up just a little bit, so it gives us just a little more room with the tail. And there we go, that's our basic shape. Let's go ahead and work on a style right now. 
overall, I want the chicken to be white. However, I want you to be able to see a highlight on it. So it can't be pure white. It needs to be something more like gray. Let's select the shape. And I'm going to turn off the character development right now so I can see a little more clearly what's going on with the colors we're working with. I'll click the color and we'll give this a gray, but a fairly light gray, just enough that I can put another color over the top as a highlight and choose OK. The next thing I want to do is to let the program do some detail work for us, adding a bit of a darker shadow around the bottom and then a little bit of a highlight around the upper edges. So to do that, let me expand my advanced area right here. For effect one, I'm going to come down and choose shaded. From the top down now, I'll accept that gray, but I'm going to lighten it up significantly with the alpha channel, something like that, and choose OK. Now for effect two, I'll do the exact same thing. Let's go for shaded. Instead, we'll have this coming down from the top, but this will be white. So I'll click on the color, go to white, but I'll increase the transparency and choose OK. We can do a quick render to see what this looks like. That's fairly close, and then we can begin working on the rest in our next movie.